Hey guys, welcome back to some more Let's Play Tropico 5. Thanks for sticking around after that long first episode. From here on in, I think we'll break them into half an hour chunks, something like that sounds good. Um, unless, of course, the video ends like right after at the half an hour point, then I'll keep that in. But it's time to go on to our horrible totalitarian police state of Bao Bao. I think that's pronounced. Export raw resources while dealing with unexpected taxes. This might actually be a little hard for us. Because uh, for raw resources, if it asks for many crops, this is a desert island, almost a planet. So it might be a little tough, but let's see how we do. At last, some recognition. I've always wanted to be part of a secret fraternity bent on world domination. <laughs> they even got me appointed governor of a new island just to show what they can do. Now it is time for the hazing rituals, I guess. My new brethren want me to befriend the US president. The order wants to spread its influence throughout the Americas, and I have been chosen to do it. Making friends with the Yankees is uh, not my forte. But I'm sure I will master the skill in no time. Alright, there are actually a lot of things I didn't do in the last episode that I'll do in Welcome this one. Welcome to your new island, my apprentice. The Order needs you to earn the US President's friendship. Your friend Penultimo could probably help. He knows how to get under a person's skin in no time. Right, so there are a lot of things in the last episode I probably should have done, but I simply, some of them I forgot, and other ones I learned through more practice. I've been practicing a lot in sandbox mode. So I'll be showing those off in this episode, but as you can see in the bottom left there, we are once again in Colonial Era. This is the last time we're in Colonial for the whole campaign, I believe. Because we just go between the two islands. Greetings, old chap. Have yep, Platinum. His Majesty has come up with a most ingenious plan to defeat our enemies. We will send them food and then conquer them once they have become fat and lazy. All right. So what is a cattle ranch? Let's go ahead and build that. Although, you know, before we do that, let's get a road circling the area here. Accidentally built it slightly too long. Yeah, if we just make that a little bit longer, that'll fix the problem. There we go. And we want a ranch right here. I did a little bit of research into what is worth how much money, how long does it take to get uh, till you get a return on your investment, stuff like that. And what I found is actually pig farms are the best renewable way to get money in the colonial age. So we're gonna get a couple of um, pig ranches here. Lumber camps do make a little bit more money as do, of course, um, lumber mills. However, both of those require a resource that you isn't renewable for you until the World Wars age, because you can't do reforestation in colonial. So I'd rather save the trees. Let's also get some of these uh, roads done ahead of time. Just so I have vague ideas of how I want to build stuff. Perfect. Perfect. I'm pretty happy with that. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. Yay! Also, evidently, I have forgotten to mute my browser in the background. Be back in a moment. Fixed it, we're back. Right, uh, Mandy. Okay, so we have our cattle ranch. Where's cowboys? Right, right, right. Let's queue up our research. Um... And we'll do something like... That! That's good. Queued up all the research. Okay, another thing I didn't mess with much is budget. Budget is nice. This is your budget. It starts at 3 out of 5 by default. The lower the lower your budget is, let's do this. Progress is the Build a library. Yeah, that's high priority. Okay. Budget. The more it is below 3, the lower the effectiveness goes, but the lower you have to pay for it. 
The higher above three, the higher the effectiveness goes, but the more you have to pay for it. Also, if you put it to either uh, five or one, the wealth provided for the people working there goes up or down by one level. So that's very nice. It also, of course, increases or decreases job quality. But the pay is usually what entices people to work there or not work there. So high budget will both make it more effective, as well as make the people there working there happier and more satisfied with their jobs, and they'll give them more reason to work at that place rather than others because they get paid more. So just good things to keep in mind. Another thing is it's about time that we start actually counting out... Let's make this a little longer. We need to count out our population more often, and keep in mind exactly how many clinics and churches and things like that that we need for the population. We need to make sure that they always have enough. Stage one of His Majesty's plan has been initiated. All colonies must start exporting food to our enemies. Meat? That's fine. Pigs produce a lot of meat. That's where we're making our money right now. Did I not make the road long enough? I did. There. So things that you want to put on a high budget tend to be the construction office, Teamster's office, which I actually already have on high budget. Didn't know I did that. And the dock. I'm not going to put those two other on those other two on the uh, highest budget yet, but I will be soon. Also, could we export meat? No. Fish, wool, tobacco, sugar, logs. All things that we don't have yet. Okay. So another thing we're going to do, now that we have a bit of money, is... Uh, it's so hard to position these things somewhere that it likes. Oh, right. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. There we go. I'm putting it over there to give more room. But that's going to be a wharf, so we can get fish. It'll be good for our cannery later, as well as just feeding people, and a little bit for selling. Mostly, we want multiple docks, because you get a trade ship for every dock you have. Later, in the end of the World War era, when you get the compass, you will get two trade ships for every dock you have. So we want mm, 10 to 12 trade ships. We will be using up a lot of our shores with this, of course. But we do have a lot of shores just on this island in general, so that's good. Also, we want to explore... Oh, that stock marching sound effect. I'm trying to think of what Governor, other game I've heard that Tropico's in. Tropico's economic performance is most astounding. It almost looks like you did that specifically to challenge me. Huh? U.S. President's showing up soon, even though we're colonial. His more... Royal <sighs> Majesty has instructed me. I was stepping on my lines. The more dogs we the have. The fastest way mm. to bond with someone is to drink with him. The way to the heart is through the stomach, and that is why I will never come to your office without a bottle. Okay. Uh, more docks also means more trade ships coming through, and more cargo ships and everything. We can export things faster, import things faster if we need to. It's great. Okay, you got my attention. Yet I bet there is no way you can export agricultural products on a large scale with all the taxation and regulation from that crown of yours. Not too bad. Agricultural stuff, which is not exactly our specialty with this island. Well, we can do it. So let's, uh, let's take a look at what we have around. First of all, cocoa is a really easy way to make money. It's one of the only ones that doesn't get produced into anything. However, uh, it is very nice later on, or early on rather, as you can sell it immediately and make a lot of money off of it. And in the long run, you will make a lot of money off it. Uh, corn, we will of course need mostly in the Cold War. Cotton, we will need always, because once we can get textile mills, that's going to be worth a lot. I found this book in your office, Governor. It's written by Conrad Marx, and it has some interesting ideas on how we should build our society. 
New Wharf. I could just Sir, break down. The Crown has decided to impose a real estate tax on Tropico. My friends at court hinted that Ila Rojo was behind the idea. I do not know how they will profit from it, but you will surely suffer. Yep. To help him find the Ooh. best food in the Empire, the King has organized a royal cook-off. We must show him that Tropican cuisine is the best cuisine. Man, they're really talky today. I'm just gonna build a new wharf. Try to put it in backwards again. I'm not the greatest ruler. But I'm sure to measure up! <laughs> this is why you watch me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. Iron deposit. Not gonna start going into that yet. I do actually Someone recommend- my manuscript and published it under- We've heard that line. I do recommend that you don't get iron mines or any kind of mine in general until late World War era, just because you don't want to mine it out before you can get the upgrades that make it so you can mine more. So, I actually highly recommend you only sell completely 100% renewable resources when in the colonial era. And that's what I'm doing, I'm making farms, ranching, just basically that, fishing. You'll notice that the fish population will go down over time with all of these wharfs. However, they will come back. Why will his majesty find your- Yeah, I'll research the sickle. I think that's next on the list. And that'll increase my mandate. So we've almost sold enough agricultural stuff. I think they actually count the meat weirdly enough. Unless we've just been selling a lot of corn, which I don't think we have. Although I really want selective breeding on that early. Corn's, uh, corn's important. In the Cold War, you need to start feeding corn to your livestock if you're going to have them on indoor farms to increase their productivity. So you'll need a lot of corn if you're going to have a lot of ranches, and I like to have a lot of ranches. So right now we're just waiting a bit. His Royal Majesty has instructed... Right mandate. While searching. Okay. Now we can get our upgrades. There's a nice one for Coco. It's 5,000, but just doubles effectiveness instantly and forever. It's amazing. You can also start overfeeding the pigs to increase their effectiveness, but slightly decrease job quality. President, as you know, it is your will alone that keeps Tropico together. Without you, the entire island would crumble to dust and be lost forever. All right. A uh, synchronized swimming competition. As the air was born, all animals became quiet. A light shone through the skies, and La Chupacabra herself went to the crib and bowed to the infant. At least, that is what we will write in the history books. I'll actually take that union leader. Increase the job quality of all workers in Tropico. All right, so we have a new heir. Dear Lord, <laughs> that is an ugly man. Let's, uh, <laughs> whoa, Philippe Let's Play. Whoa, this guy. Let's make him look a little more dignified, shall we? Oh. Okay, I can do something with this. Uh, can I get, like, a nice, uh, olive green? Yeah. yeah let's get, uh... Probably double olive green. Dark brown could work. Let's let's go with that. Let's not give him a ginger faux hawk. Uh, let's give him black hair. Want something dignified? Yeah, that'll do. That's a dignified leader. Looks more like a general, but still. Uh... Hafez. I forget, is there a monocle? Don't think there is. You know what? That looks good. Philippe, let's play. Alright, so when, as a manager, he increases the job quality by 10 of a place, that's pretty good. And his global effect, which is always active even when he's not El Presidente, is that uh, 
all of the job quality of every job is just a little bit better. It's really nice. I like that. Anyone can try to grow something. Try making money out of large-scale cattle products. Now there's a tough, smelly challenge. What do you say? Cattle farms, not products. It always bugs me when the when the text doesn't match the words. All right, yeah, we can do that. That's easy. Okay, they're done building that. Mechanization would be very nice, but we're low on money. I don't want to stay in the deficit for too long. Hurts foreign relations. Although, our only foreign relation is with the crown. Okay, we have three trade ships. Do we have any new trades available? Cotton. We are selling cotton now. Well, we're just gonna have to mass sell cotton until anything better shows up. And we are doing this through the West India Company, so it makes the crown happy, which means better foreign support. And of course, foreign support through money, that is. Let's actually, yeah, put another road there to help with traffic in the future. I don't want traffic jams everywhere. That becomes a okay, real you problem. Me wrong. I'll give you that, buddy. Let's drink to your success. Oh, definitely two profitable trade routes. Okay, what did he give me? He gave me a meat one with the states. That's a nice one. And a logs one. Eh. Um, let's actually take two of my ships off cotton. And those can go with the states. Apparently, the crown doesn't like that, but whatever. Those are some high-paying trade routes. And we have a lot of meat. But with our cattle and our pigs. Thanks to your efforts, the revolutionary movement is... Let's get more revolutionaries in the city. And they're Sir, educated, too. The Crown introduced budget cuts under the Share the Weight of the Crown plan, which somehow led to the increase of the real estate tax. Not a problem. Just another Our hundred. research team, that is to say me, discovered the shovel. Another hundred per building, which is not so bad. His Majesty personally inspected. Yeah, we already have that. His Royal Majesty. Mandate. All right, we're doing good. We're doing really good. Freedom will never simply be given to us. We must- Now yeah, we'll research the trigger eventually. That's the last thing we're researching in Colonial, but that's what gets us the military fort, which I likely won't build. It's just not that great. And now that we have some more money, we need to explore more. I want to make sure that we always have room. It has attention that the favor of the crown has shifted away from you, and this endangers your current mission. I have pulled considerable strings to find a way out of this situation. Yeah, we're fine. What does the Crown actually think of us right now? Crown actually loves us right now, because we keep doing their bidding and exported them cotton. They fucking love us right now. Yeah, we don't have popular support, though. The people are unhappy, but they don't get to vote right now, so I guess it doesn't much matter. And they also can't revolt until you get into the World Wars. There is a way around the real estate tax. No, not paying out of my Swedish bank account. It's a waste. I can afford the money. The money to pay for the real estate tax, that is. I want to keep saving up that bank account. Alright, let's look into our edicts. Firstly, eh, there's nothing here I really need. Yeah, nothing here I need yet. Money's doing great. We've been feeding our foes literally tons of food. Yet they haven't gained any weight. His Majesty is furious. He demands more food right now. Okay, I'm actually going to increase prices to get money and increase revolutionary support. Normally I wouldn't do that. However, uh, we already have a I lot of mandate. Other members of the research team. And I don't think we need as much mandate as we have. I want to get this map done a lot faster than the previous one, or else I would normally do that. Throwing some cheap exports on the crop market is easy. Now, a solid resource-based operation is impossible 
in a backward economy exploited by a so-called motherland. We'll take that, but we're not going to start mining and logging quite yet. Also, I'm not going to build any country houses. Even though it's recommending that I do. Because... I will be building... Let me put that there for now. I'll be building uh, tenants as soon as I can. Which will be in the World Wars. Until then, they can just live in shacks. We're actually in really good shape here. Comrade Governor, the most Yeah, we already, we already got that one. There you go. That was easy. Comrade Governor, we sure. Uh, union leader, mentor. Eh, I don't really need any of these. I'll teamsters. I'll make your job better, even though it's already great. Oh, that reduces job Actually, you know what? They already have great job Thanks quality. That'll efforts. increase effectiveness. And no one left their job, so I'm good. They're rich working there just anyway. discovered the number of times you need to get hit by Well done. Congratulations. Well, what do you know? I'd rather free opera house. Because that provides entertainment. That'll always be useful. Whereas that technology I'm about to research anyway. Also, I'm sorry if you heard the really loud motorcycle outside. We fucking hate our neighbors. They have broken mufflers, and it's illegal to have a broken muffler over here and continue to drive your motorcycle, but they do it anyway. Okay, are we on the last research? Oops. Nope, we have quite a bit left. That's right, newspaper and everything. I would actually like more plantations. Is there anything that'd be good here? Cocoa, yeah. Coffee, corn, cotton, pineapple. Yeah. Yeah, pineapple. Really hard to see there with all those trees. Doing fine though. I could build a second library to get this done faster, but I don't really feel the need. I like how we have to pay a thousand just to walk over there and look around a bit. Have we not exported enough agricultural yet? His Majesty's plan didn't work quite as expected. We were unable to make our foes fat. However, they were most thankful for the food and are now our friends. We'll actually take the Swiss bank account money for once. Uh, again, because I don't think we're going to need this much mandate. Again, for people playing at home, I would highly recommend that you use all of the mandate. Like, get all the mandate and use all of that time to make your economy as good as possible. But because I want to keep this thing fast-paced and somewhat entertaining, I'm not going to do that. Okay. You can only have 100 people in the Catholic mission which completely blows because the church gives you 200. And I'm only going to have, despite having a population more than 100, I'm only going to have that one Catholic mission right now because I'm mostly going to worry about having enough stuff for everyone after I've gotten into the next stage. I will, however, get a tavern over here. Not the best place in the world for a tavern, but it's a place for a tavern. It'll make me some money. And it counts as an entertainment building. Just like the Opera House. Workers of Tropico. Yeah, we can export fish easy. We've got two wharfs. Although they both have zero fish population around them. Because they fished out all the fish. Whatever, they'll find new fish. See, they're fishing. So. Oh, now it went to moderate. I guess they just regenerated. Yeah, we exported that fish fast. Only a little bit left. And... Might as well get a lot of this out of the way. Come on. Must be placed on shore. It's on the shore. Ugh, it is the worst 
trying to find locations. Might have to start building more along here. Whatever, we need a lot. Newspaper, we need a lot of docks. And a lighthouse. Should have got that earlier. Gonna put it horizontally that it doesn't really matter as long as it's near the road. And I think I'm almost ready to actually start up a mine. I actually kind of want to get a lumber mill early on, just so that I have one ready for when I get a lumber camp. Regardless, we're doing really good. Just double checking to make sure that all of our trade ships are used. We should have, have an extra one any second now. There we go. And that can join in with the meat trade. Thanks to your efforts. How close are we to the trigger? A few more techs. Next one will get us more edicts, which is important. Right now, well, we've got a decent amount of edicts we can do, but ur urban development and building permit are important. Census is... Yeah, I guess census is important. Census is one of those annoying ones to use because it's very useful, however, it uh, you can only use it once every like five years or something. So it always feels like maybe I should wait a little longer because I'll get more population, but... An experience is probably better to do early. really hate clicking the, uh, the Opera House, but I do reflexively all the time. Okay, increase effectiveness of nearby... of nearby, uh, pineapple places, and then up here in Cotton we're mechanizing it, so it's more effective and requires a few less workers. Should have done that earlier, but I forgot. Let's also use manure fertilizer for the nearby agricultural stuff. I want to get those ancient ruins discovered early. You can make a lot of money off those things in the World War era and onward. Well, you can make a lot really in the Cold War, but you can start using it earlier. Our money is actually great. And weirdly enough, people aren't that angry at us considering, uh, Housing is abysmal. They like their liberty. Liberty really helps. And job happiness is not too bad. They actually have good work. Well, like good work for Colonial. Okay, I think we have just about as much as we need explored after this, until we get the compass and have the rest explored for free. Yeah, that's that's good for now. We have plenty of room. The... Alright, right, that's to get rid of the tax. As you can see, we have no problem with tax. We've got a lot of money. We have invented red tape. Good, we have the extra edicts unlocked. So is that the rest of them for this age? Yes. The only reason we don't have martial law and military drills is because we need more military buildings. Having martial law as an ability, just to be able to use at any given time though, is quite important. So, let's get a few guard towers. That'll be as many military buildings as we need to do martial law if need be. Won't be very good defense, of course. Guard towers pretty much just delay the enemy assault. But still, better than nothing. And plus, it makes the militarists happy. We'll have those to deal with. I think it's about time that we start mining and logging. Oh, 
Okay, let's do this. Our first mine. It'll be an iron mine, which makes you quite a bit of money. It's the most you can get from a mine just below gold. Uranium might be worth more, I'm not sure, but uranium isn't available until the late Cold War period. So until then, iron is going to be a big moneymaker. Let's also get that lumber mill. I do recommend you put a lot of your industry as close to the docks as possible, just to cut down on travel time. And it's about time that we actually get another Teamster's office. And I'll put that up here. As well as another construction office. You can also get people working here to make the jobs a little better. Yeah, worker job quality better. Just to make sure people are working there. I think we've actually got just about everything I want for this age. Let's get one more tavern, actually. Uh, actually, one up there and another down here. Don't usually like having taverns so close to the docks because that's valuable space for industry. But with how bottlenecked this is, we're not going to have much room down here anyway. Might have to move some buildings, like have construction office up here. Regardless, we're actually doing quite good. No upgrades here we want. Yeah, probably going to... I don't like getting upgrades that uh, increase pollution, you'll see. And there are a lot of buildings in industry that can increase pollution, but also uh, effectiveness. I tend to not do those. I like to keep pollution under control. Okay. We don't need martial law yet, but we will likely need that in the future. We're not doing extra rations, although we may in the future entirely, in case uh, food happiness becomes a problem. However, uh, no free lunch. People now pay for their food, which will make us a pretty penny. The only people who can't pay for their food are people who are broke, which means that they have no jobs. So we just need to make sure there are a lot of jobs, and we can balance that. And I'll actually put a grocer in right here, because that is where we're going to make our first housing district. Presidente, I'm shaking. Earthquake. You're shaking. Everyone is shaking. Okay, what do we lose? I don't want to lose the library. Oh, wow, we actually lost a decent amount. Um, yeah, that was kind of, that was, I guess that was a decent amount of damage considering we have so few buildings already. Great, uh, good, you already have that rebuilt. Or repaired, rather. Okay, now we just need to wait. We're on the last wager. And I believe we just win the scenario the after that. To bond with someone is to drink. Oh, no, it's to earn the friendship, and then I think there's like one mission after that, which I believe is just declare independence. World of War Farmer's Fair. That's a nice one. Increase budget a bit, but food quality by a lot. That's kind of important. Food quality is not hard to get high up. You just need to have a lot of variation of food. And, of course, an abundance of it. And, of course, that's not producing at all. In fact, I don't like that I'm paying any of these people. Uh, let's stop that. Uh, yeah, right-click to close the rest. There we go. That building is closed until we actually start cutting down wood. Library, however, I'd very much like to have people in. We'll inc increase the job quality of it so it's more enticing for people to work there. We'll demolish that library, though, very early in the World Wars once we get a college. Wait. 
the leaders of the Tropican nation. In yep. president. Yep. <laughs> yep, we can proclaim independence now when we want to. Which will be soon. I'm just making sure that I have the upgrades I want. An important thing to remember is that when a building is knocked over due to a natural disaster or being shot up by rebels or whatever may have happened, it does lose its upgrades. You'll need to re-get those upgrades. So, try and keep tabs on what's broken. But I think we got caught up on that. We have two and a half years left in our mandate, so that's plenty of time to wait until the mining and logging is done. We have the rubble support we need. So now we just have to wait. Also, uh, trade... They do not... No one wants iron. Okay. Just making sure. We could make some extra money out of that. We have an extra ship, actually? Did we finish a trade that I wasn't aware of? Whatever, just trade more meat. I guess it's probably the old cotton trade I finished. bananas yet, but I want to. We are also not growing coffee. Pineapples, sugar, or tobacco. Is that lined up? It's totally not lined up. And sugar, which is actually good over here. Wow, getting lucky on this. Yeah, explore over here. Didn't think they'd all be next to each other. There we go. Just getting some more of our economy set up. So we can actually get some llama ranches around here too. Cattle wouldn't hurt. But llama's more helpful. Two of those spots aren't very good, but in the Cold War, that won't matter. And until then, they're just there to make it so I have more fertilizer. Thanks and plus, wool. The revolution. Great news! We found that how- There we go. Research done. Also, on top of the usefulness of that alone, uh, llamas get us wool, and if you have both wool and cotton, you can get a textile mill which is one of the highest paying industries in the World Wars. Also, we just finished that big trade. Uh, we can trade meat at a much lower price with the crown now. It'll make the crown happy, increase our foreign support. Not that we need the extra money, but whatever. Job quality increases and the wealth of the workers. Nope. Makes them happy. Also, because right here is basically desert, and we definitely won't be needing uh, any farms right here, I'm gonna put a Teamster's office. Just to help move the goods, because it's kind of far away from the docks. We have just under two years left in the mandate. We're almost done all that mining and logging. Lots of iron left. Good. Okay, we need sugar. And tobacco. God, we're lucky all these things just line up? Was not my intention for it to all line up so perfectly. There we go. The reason I make that uh, road around the okay, whole thing... Okay, man, congratulations. Well done. You continue to amaze me. Now let's celebrate your success. I don't really want either, you but don't I guess really need military. Half the US Army, pal. It actually consists of 37 volunteers at this point. That's all there is. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the free military base, although I'll likely get rid of it quite early. All right, it doesn't matter which way this is facing, does it? What looks nicest? That looks nicest. I'll likely get rid of that later. But these come first. Parcel, parcel. Pineapple! It's high time that I left for the US, buddy. But before I go, I cannot help but acknowledge the many things I learned while staying on this beautiful island as your guest of honor. 
Thanks, Ruds. Oh, did we win? Game didn't tell us we'd win. Uh, game didn't tell us that was the win condition. Well, kind of wish that we had uh, built more things first, but whatever, we'll survive. All right, next episode, survive numerous invasions. I think uh, I think that's um, something that we want to do on Bao Bao then, which we'll definitely have more military on. Until next time, have a nice day.